What's up guys? I just thought that um, I record another video on this cool maneuver that uh, I've seen uh, Jays do quite a bit at the uh, Cajun event and that's uh, what I call like a pendulum. Um, so let's um, let's get to it. And you can do it inverted, you can do it um, right side up, but basically it's this thing right here. There's so many variations how to do it. You can push the rudder like this, which I like better. I'm going to bring it back. All right, let's see. So, and it's not necessarily a knife edge. I call it a pendulum. Uh, I'm sure that's not what it's called. Let's do it from this side. So you can give it lots of rudder to kind of pendulum like that. I, I think it's a cool maneuver. There you go. Oh, that's better. I'm still practicing it myself. I've tried that already with my extra and man, it's not that hard. It's just, you know, work up the uh, balls to uh, actually do it in real life. So I guess the, uh, the way to practice it would be if you just fly in this attitude and learn to control it for a while. I've been practicing it for about three weeks and I feel pretty comfortable already but Ooh, see there you go you wouldn't want that to happen in real life for sure all right let's see oh wrong rudder see <laughs> okay let's do it again now you can do it right side up Let's do it right side up. I don't know, I just think it's a cool maneuver. It's so graceful, especially if it's done right. I'm still not doing it right, and you can do it faster. Or just nice and slow, hold it, hold it, hold it in this attitude, hold it, like, just like that. And I guess the if there is a trick, the only trick I can uh, think of is don't give it rudder too early. So you let it pendulum this way, rudder, rudder, rudder. Yeah, don't give it rudder too early. If you if you do, you see what happens. Oops. Uh, gotta get a little bit lower. So I call it a pendulum because uh, you know I'm for right now. I really don't know what it's called. I'm sure somebody will chime in and tell us. So let's do it again. I guess you can make turns. You give it just a bit more rudder on one side. You can probably just, yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's gonna take uh, a few weeks, especially now in the winter, when I get really comfortable doing it in real life. But it's definitely a cool maneuver. I like that. And there's another thing uh, I wanted to touch on, and that's um, the snaps. I noticed that it is, uh, that's enough for the pendulum, but the snaps, uh, real quick, um, I used to I mean you, could, you would go and just jam the sticks like that and it does okay job right it does it now I did notice it's easier if you just um, give it a little bit of rudder a little bit of elevator just like that and it snaps a little bit slower I guess it's even it's better for uh, safer for the airframe too I, I bet um, Let's see if I won't crash it. Oh, there it is. Crash. Uh, you know what? Let me set it up from the right. So that every time I reset, 
Uh, we already have the plane flying. There it is. Press P and see, it's just a little slower, but it's uh, much more controlled rather than just uh, jamming the sticks to one side. Let's see again. From knife edge. Whoop. Oh man, I saved it. Well, I'm heading overseas, so I'll be uh, spending a lot more time on the simulator. See, if you just jam the sticks, the plane uh, rotates much faster. And it's uh, it's hard to control it. It's hard to know when when to stop. But if you just go and well, see, that's not what I wanted. I it automatically gave it way too much better. But if you watch the sticks, if it's a uh, full rudder, it's just not working. And I know Chris Henson told me uh, that uh, rudder and the elevator should maybe be 15, maybe 20, 25 degrees. So, there you go, let's do it again. See, it's slower, and you can actually see what the plane's doing. It's, of course, it is always uh, timing, but and of course, the slower you go, the less input you actually give it. So let's do it again. Little rudder, little elevator. Ooh, <laughs> that didn't work out. All right, on that side. See, that was nice. Ooh, that was not nice. Uh, so you get the point. I mean, uh, if you look at the sticks, forget the flying, I'm going to kill it. Um, so you're flying along, but sticks right here. Uh, and, um, you know, I guess the, what most people would do when they're learning, they would just jam the sticks this way or maybe too much rudder. I mean, I'm sorry, too much elevator, but really what you want to do is very little rudder right here and full aileron and tiny bit of elevator. See that? Just a tiny bit. I mean, so basically full aileron and just, that's a full aileron and very little rudder, very little elevator. And, uh, it, and uh, you, you don't even have to give it full aileron. I mean, just, let's, let's see uh, if we do it with... See, it just does it slower, but it's just all practice. I mean, uh, I, I'm trying right now, but okay, let's do it with less sailor. Yeah, it still does it. I mean, and it's pretty controlled. Uh, if if it's if you don't put it if you don't put uh, input too much um, rudder or elevator, it actually. Uh, It creates this very uh, minor wobble, kind of like, you see that? And so you have plenty of time to uh, to save it. But if you're uh, going like this and full up, you see what it, see what it's doing, you know, full deflection. Now I know some planes, some planes can handle it like the slick can, uh, but uh, the extra is better. You see what I mean? It will roll and roll for a while. So then it becomes uh, just timing, but you can actually see it and stop it. Again, it's all just, just practice, but... So that's about it. I mean, I didn't want to talk about uh, snaps, but definitely this uh, pendulum thing, I think it's so cool very graceful especially if you just push it with the elevator like this <laughs> that's just so cool and of course throttle management throttle 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 I don't see myself uh, blipping the throttle when doing this maneuver 
So that's about it. I mean, um, you know, if you know the uh, proper uh, name for it, let me know. Uh, oh, and one more, one more, one more I've been working on for a while. And that is this uh, snap. Getting much better at it. There you go. So like this. Up. And there you are. And actually, you can go pop and straight into the pendulum. Isn't that cool? And go around and uh, do it right side up. Oh, it's I guess the next video should be, and like I said, I'm heading overseas, so I usually get pretty bored overseas. Uh, you know, family vacation. Uh, who wants to hang out with their family 24/7? So I'll go upstairs, lock myself in a room, and I'll be recording some videos. And uh, one of them will be the um, 90 degree turn that uh, Daniel Holman, I guess, invented. I'm not sure. Uh, I know. Um, um, What's his name? Cody uh, Wojcik is really, really good at it too. Not to mention Jay's, of course. So it'll be something like this. Pop, and there it is. 90 degree. I'm going to practice it some more. And uh, definitely uh, record that, spend some time. Let me do it again. So that would be this thing right here. And I, you can make it a, a deeper snap for sure. So pop. There you go. Ooh, that was nice. <laughs> so I'm going to end it on that note. That was nice. Uh, well, I'm going overseas. I'm going to be hanging out with one of my uh, buddies. We're going to be building this exact extra. And hopefully, if the weather allows, uh, we're gonna maintain it too, so um, we may do some uh, video on that too. Uh, just because I'm on vacation doesn't mean uh, I'm not gonna be flying RC, right? <laughs> so let's crash it. Hey guys, thanks for watching. And um, hey, next year uh, Richard Hummel and I were planning on uh, visiting as many fields as we can and meet uh, all of our friends, most of our friends. Uh, and just just hanging out and and of course display the extreme flight uh, flags uh, and hopefully I'll uh, I'll have the 120 inch Bushmaster by then and whoever wants to fly it you're more than welcome so um, Merry Christmas even to those who don't celebrate Christmas because Christmas is not about um, just giving it's about hanging out with family that's why we go overseas you may not like your family but uh, you don't you don't choose your family so we're gonna go hang out with them and um, definitely uh, looking forward to meeting some other people in Europe and uh, like I said Richard and I will will be uh, doing our best to visit as many fields as I uh, as we can and just hanging out every weekend someplace that's the plan anyway all right, Merry Christmas, guys.